When you're looking at hiring search engine optimization experts or web design experts, there's a quick checklist that you can go through to make sure that you've done your due diligence. You're not just going off something that looks pretty or someone recommended to you, that you're really checking their references. And I'm gonna give you some tools to be able to check their work and make sure they're the real deal. Hiring an SEO professional can be tricky. There's a lot of people that never pull back the curtain and show you what you need to know to actually hire and work with SEO or search engine optimization experts. This industry is really interesting because you have two different sets. You have the set that is high technical SEO. They just work on the back end of your website to meet the Google algorithm. So they're in there, they're tweaking, they're tweaking, they're tweaking. The problem with technical SEO is that it tends to forget about the human SEO. The human SEO is how people are searching, what they're doing, what they need, and interpreting that through data. So when you're hiring an SEO expert, it's very important that you get someone who has a holistic understanding of the space. So that a technical SEO person is not necessarily going to be tapped in to the emotionally intelligent side of your business. So remember that if you hire a technical SEO expert, they're not the person to give you ideas on content. They're not going to look at your website and come back to you with a bunch of ideas. What you need to do is work with someone who understands the human side and the technical side that comes together. So you want more of a whole brained SEO expert. So a couple things you want to check out is go old school, check their references, ask for their top five clients and the keywords that drive the most traffic to those customers' websites. So here's the big misnomer is that if you hire an SEO person, they're going to tweak your website, add a bunch of keywords to your site, and then they're going to give you a report that says you rank number one under 500 keywords. Then the conversation stops. Now here's where it's frustrating for business owners is that they say you're doing all this great ranking, but you don't see any more phone calls, no more, um, you know, form submissions on your website. And you're like, well, what am I paying for? The average turnover rate in the SEO business is one year. And I think it's one year because we as business owners who hire said SEO companies don't understand what they're doing. So they keep giving us reports after reports after reports, and it doesn't make any sense to us. I was speaking in Washington DC and it was before we got going, guy walks in with a big report, similar to this, right? Slams it on the table and says, what the F is that? And then he looks at me and I'm like, nice to meet you too. He's like, I am sick and tired of you experts, you experts, giving me reports like that, that say I'm doing great, but I never see any actual performance or increase of revenue on my business. What the heck? So <laughs> I had a whole three hours to explain to him maybe where he had gone wrong. This is very, very typical. So what you want to look for is not how many keywords rank number one in Google. You want to look for of those keywords that rank, what is the percentage of traffic that's driving to your site from that one phrase? Now tools like SEMrush will help you, moz.com will help you get that data. But at the end of the day, it's not about how many keywords you rank under. It's about which of those first page keywords are actually driving traffic to your website. Incredibly important. I always tell clients, pick your 20. 20 keywords that you know if you ranked under them, then you are going to get findable by the right kinds of customers. Not 1,000, not 500, 20 keywords. If once you rank under those 20 keywords, then you can pick another 20. But it's important to stay focused. You know your business the best. Nobody else knows your business. If you hand it over to an SEO company and just hope for the best, it's not going to work out. You as a business owner have to be responsible for educating that SEO vendor all about the nuances of your business, what you know about them, what makes them ticked off, what makes them search for alternatives and what makes you different than those competitors. Do not let the SEO agency provide keyword lists to you and randomly just say, okay, great. And you set a check every month and you wait and you wait and you wait. And then you have meetings. They tell you you're doing great, but you're not seeing any real performance on your website. 
the phones aren't ringing and the contact forms are not getting filled out. The biggest systemic reason I think that people don't have success with SEO firms is because they tap out. They walk away. They say, here's your check, make it go away. The best thing you can do if you're going to spend money on search engine optimization is A, are you going to do it yourself? Maybe, maybe not. B, do you have someone in-house that you can train up on the topic? That might be an option. If you don't have someone in-house, then you're going to have to hire carefully. Make sure you check their references. Make sure you ask those references. What are your top five keywords that drive the most amount of traffic to their sites? And work with someone who explains it in easy, non-technical talk. If they roll out heat maps, conversion rates, um, you know, all these crazy phrases that just intimidate you, it's not always the kind of relationship you want because they don't understand how to explain what they're doing to you in a way that makes sense to your business. So hopefully this little rant of mine is going to help you to focus on is your current company doing what they should? Have you tapped out of your own online marketing because you're too busy? And what's the best sustainability long-term for your company? So keep in mind that you're not an SEO expert. Hiring SEO experts, it can be challenging. So hopefully following some of those rules, it's going to help you connect either externally or internally with a strategy and process that's going to finally deliver results for your business. Supporting inside marketing teams, implementers are our people. We love to work with marketing teams. We have worked with some of the best marketing teams in major corporations all across the US. We roll in and we show them a whole new way to think about findability online, how to tweak what they're doing and how to add a whole level of thought to what the processes for SEO and findability are in their current programs. So if you have a marketing team in your company, let's talk. We can roll in there, we can have a full day of training, everyone can sharpen their knife around SEO, and we're there to support them ongoing as well. So check out our website, findability.com, and let's see if we can come in and make your team the smartest team on search engine optimization.